Hello and welcome to another product review. This is a food review um, with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing three different types of ramen noodles. Now these ramen noodles are special in the fact that they are from the same brand that brought you wrap snacks, which are chips, popcorn, I believe, perhaps pretzels. I'm not sure if they're pretzels or not. But uh, it is a company that was headed up by Master P, the rapper, uh, as well as other investors, to create potato chips that were kind of like theme flavored for different R&B and rap uh, artists. Um, can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but I know I've had a few, and all of them have been actually from relatively good to very good. Um, but He's moved away from the potato chip snacks, and he's moved into ramen noodles. And instead of calling them wrap noodles, which I think, like, if you were going to create, like, the same brand name, maybe he had some trouble getting that name, I don't know. But he's calling these Icon Ramen Noodles by Wrap Snacks, so there's Wrap Snacks on top. But the ramen noodles are called Icon Ramen Noodles. And... At the time that I'm, uh, I got these, he had these three flavors to start. I think he has one or two more flavors. I'm not sure. You can probably check out his website. But the three flavors that uh, that he started off with are the Master P Creamy Chicken Gumbo. Will it make me say, uh, we'll see. The Boosie Louisiana Hot and Spicy Chicken. Um, hopefully it is D-E-E-L-I-S, independent, delicious, and, um, E-40, beef prime rib. Hopefully this is good, so I won't have to tell it where to go. Anyway, let's go start from left to right here. We have the Master P, premium ramen noodles creamy chicken gumbo edition. I will say that I've looked at all three of these because I had to add the, the hot water to it. Just poured in uh, some boiling water for it's been sitting for more than three minutes but it says three minutes. The noodles and the vegetables are the same throughout. It's just the spice mix that they add in here that's going to be different. There's your picture of Master P. I don't know if you can see uh, the noodles here, but let me just pull some out. Your typical cup of noodle ramen noodles it has carrots, peas, uh, green onion. That's all I saw. Carrots, peas, green onion, some green seasoning. There might be some corn in there too. Master Peas Cup has this really long drawn out sentence that uh, basically brings you to his master class masterpmasterclass.com it has creamy chicken gumbo but it's not really that creamy looking it smells not too intense noodles <laughs> it was a little hotter than I expected it to be Let's slurp some of the, the the broth out here blew some water into my eye there. The flavor is not very potent or strong. So far I'm not impressed. Creamy chicken gumbo masterpiece. Hmm. I'm sorry, but uh, 
Master P's creamy chicken gumbo made me say, nah. Moving on. Let's do E40 beef crime room. There's your picture E40. This one has a more intense smell, so hopefully the flavor is also better. Also, there's no like packets you have to open in this. It's just take open the top, put the water in. Everything is already pre-mixed in here. As you can see, the noodles and the dry vegetables look exactly the same as the last one. Each of these has the same exact cooking directions. You can see there's the cooking directions, really small. E40's uh, little blurb here is much shorter and doesn't bring you to anyone's masterclass. But it does say, You smell me and real talk. That's why you know it's an authentic quote. Of the broth myself. I do like the flavor of this one better. It's just a little stronger, but still not very impressive. E40, I'm telling you to go. Lastly, we have Louisiana Hot and Spicy Chicken, Lucy. There's the picture they chose for Lucy. Here's his quote, even shorter than the last one. But the instructions that are underneath it, it's the exact same. This one says, sometimes you need those bad days because it helps you truly appreciate the good ones. I suppose that's truer than ever. This one I like the color a little bit better. It has uh, given a little bit of orange to the noodle. Nothing too distinctive smell wise. There you go. You see a little bit of orange in there maybe. So I can tell like what it's trying to do, right? I didn't dilute it. I follow the directions. It says fill to the line. Fill to the line. Doesn't say anything about leaving any kind of water out. So I'm eating it at the strength level it intends. Just because this one is, has some spice to it, it makes the flavor the most intense out of any of them. But even saying that, the, the flavor level is low. Let's sip some of the broth. The Louisiana Spicy Chicken is my favorite of the three, definitely. But at best, this is D E S E D E C E N T. Lucy. So there you go. The 
first three flavors ever of Wrap Snacks Icon Ramen. And for the most part, I'm disappointed. The hot and spicy chicken one is the by favor out of the three. Then the beef, then the creamy chicken, which this one was truly bland. Um, maybe they improve on the. Uh, <coughs> See, the spice is actually in there. Maybe they improve on some of these recipes, and uh, maybe the second or third version of these come out and they really hit the market they need to. But uh, definitely, uh, all three could reuse some improvements. Uh, overall, product wise, I'm going to say currently it's a six and a half out of ten uh, type of deal here. Sorry, Master V. Your chips are still really good, though. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a, a, a thumbs up, a like. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.